Okay, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna look at uh, some real basic editing. So those of you that are new to the MPC might get something, a little something out of this. So we're gonna take a look at a drum program from one of the custom packs. And we're gonna go right into the editor and we're gonna look at some basic tweaking. Um, so in this particular kit, I've got a really boomy open acoustic kick drum. May not pick up very well in the video, but it's very boomy and bassy, and it's actually really cool. Okay, now, in some cases, um, the extra boominess, you might like the tone, but you don't want the ringingness. Now, there's a couple ways to deal with this, and either way I'm going to show you uh, has a lot to do with the envelope in this case, and then we're going to go into the effects which are really cool. So I invite you to go into the effects and play around with them, okay? So first of all, we're gonna go in to this pad on A A01. And we're, all we're gonna simply do is just take this and we're gonna truncate the amp envelope. Okay, and as I bring it in, so I, so I took that away a little bit. And as I start playing with it, you're basically choking the actual sample, which is kind of con containing the the uh, sound. Okay, so let's just go back to normal now. Which I'm gonna take that all the way up and we're, um, oops. So we're gonna take that back up to normal. Now here's another way you can do this. So I invite you to go into the effects section and on the second toggle, you're gonna see these, you have up to eight simultaneous per pad effects. And so uh, we're gonna first take a look at, and I invite you to go through this whole list and play around with it. It's better to do that than I can actually explain, but so we'll just take a look at the high pass for this pad only. And watch what happens as I sort of See how it takes that boominess out as I increase the frequency and it goes down here where of course it's only letting the high the high pass filtering to take place but here kind of gives you it still retains the, the ringiness but takes some of that frequency out so right about here Like for these hi-hats, if I go into here, and better yet, if I put a low-pass filter on here, we'll see the opposite happen. And you can start hearing, eventually as you turn it up, you're gonna only hear the frequency in hertz, so up to 40 hertz, which is gonna be almost silent. But as you can see, I'm letting more of the low pass frequency to be heard. And it's kind of taking the the, the, the tinniness out of the hi-hat. And here's what the hype, this is with it at zero. So if I take this and put the low pass on here, on this different pad, And take some of that out. Matter of fact, again, just tweak that a little bit and take that. And that way I don't have to add actual EQ to the whole channel strip. You might get to the point where you have something with the frequencies when you're playing the rhythm kit where you might get some clipping and that's where gain. So gain works where 
it's not changed the gain of the sample in itself. Like I said, this is an actual insert effect. And so, see, as you can see, it works in the inverse. So we're starting at basically zero dB, and then you're decreasing the gain from zero dB further back. So if you have to dial in if something was just too hot, let's say this uh, side stick was just a little too hot, you can do it right here without changing the actual program itself. Matter of fact, I can turn that down, but let the high pass filter. So watch or listen. So now, as I starts to get tinnier, but in the mix of everything else that's going, so again, I invite you to play around with the actual program editor. And the good thing is, is when you get something tweaked the way you want it, uh, you can always save it, and you don't have to worry about the edits. Uh, if you are going to save it. Uh, and you're getting this out of a pack like the ones I got, um, you know, you might want to make sure you rename it so that you can keep the original one. I mean, it's really your choice, but, like, you know, come up with the code, like, X might be edit. And so now you got the original and you got the edited version, you know, but always make a backup of all your sounds and your files and your packs anyway. So, and you can just save it and then you don't have to worry about it. Uh, when you want to load that particular preset. So that's sort of the basics of sound shaping and the editor. And I hope this helps out. Until next time, peace out.